wanted to just make a quick video because I got a really interesting question about pricing and uh, this is always you know a challenging part of running the business you know how much do you charge are you undercharging are you overcharging so this question was I think a really good example of um, how to go about that process and a pretty typical ask uh, when it comes to you you know talking to construction companies or real estate or whatever whatever industry that you're in so uh, we'll look at the question and then we'll look at the pricing sheet that we have and I'll leave a link to this pricing sheet in the description but I just wanted to give you a walkthrough uh, and look and, and <clears throat> I just want to do a quick walkthrough and let you know and, and just but so I just wanted to give you a all right so let's look here at the question and then we'll look at the spreadsheet so um, he asked what would you quote someone who wants construction progress photos in a in video for a place that is about an hour and a half from my home. They want progress, raw, and edited photos, and a short video once per month for 14 months, right? So a lot of good information here. And essentially what I typically do is just take all those numbers and plug it into this spreadsheet that we have. So this is our project uh, pricing calculator. Um, this is something that we use really to ensure that you're not, um, really to ensure that you're accounting for all the time that goes into pricing your projects and making sure that you are including everything uh, that's needed there. So uh, we'll first start with the expenses and then we have some numbers that are auto calculated and go from there. Um, so as he explains, uh, it's about an hour and a half uh, from his house, right? So obviously you're going to spend an hour and a half driving there, an hour and a half back. So that's already three hours. Let's assume that he's going to be on site for about an hour, right? You can always play with these numbers depending on the scenario, but let's just say a solid four hours of work that's gonna be put in to complete this job, right? So if we take four hours and we go over here, typically we recommend for beginners to charge you know, your hourly anywhere from 50 to 250. I know that's a really large gap. There are a number of different factors that go into what you charge, but let's say on a low end, we're just gonna charge $50 an hour for those four hours of work, right? So we're gonna come here to where it says pilot and four times 50 is 200. So we'll put in 200 there. Um, we have room here for visual observer, other staff. Let's just assume it's you, right? You're not taking like staff or anything with you. Um, if you are gonna use an editor, right? He did mention um, edited videos, edited photos. This is up to you if you wanna pay someone to do it, but let's just say for the sake of this project, we paid someone to edit the videos and photos. So let's just say we're gonna give them about 75 bucks to do that, right? Um, if you had, if you need to rent any equipment, um, hotel accommodation, you could put those there. This is just an hour and a half away, so don't think that's going to require any overnight. Um, of course, you want to account for for meals. You know, when you're on the road, so um, you could say anywhere from let's say twenty five bucks um, up to seventy five for the day, depending on uh, how long the day is. But since it's a quick trip, we'll just put like twenty bucks um, for meals. Uh, assuming you didn't need to rent a car. Of course, you're likely going to have to buy buy some fuel, so we'll put about sixty bucks here. Um, site permits, stationary printing, um, insurance. We can tack on another twenty five bucks, assuming you're getting the the project by project insurance. And so, as you can see, um, we're accounting for we're calculating all the expenses that go into completing this job, right? So we see here that the subtotal for this is going to be three eighty. Now, this project calculator also um, uh, calculate your overhead, right? So whatever the expenses, the subtotal of the expenses, we always tack on 20% for overhead, right? And this goes into your subscriptions. Um, anything that you pay for on a monthly basis to keep the business running goes there. We also account for equipment depreciation. You are going to have to buy equipment at some point, so you need to account for uh, those expenses. And then um, just general administrative, the time it takes for you to put together a proposal, or get on the call, you know, you, you need to account for those um, those times as well. Typically, we do 15% of the subtotal. So now, we have a new total, right, total expenses that are based on everything that we calculated. We have 551. Then we need to add profit, right? So this is just the cost, the initial cost just to do the job, right? We, ha we of course, have to make money on this job. So then, um, we're going to add uh, an additional 40%. Uh, which brings our total to seven seventy one um, and forty cents, right? So, because he's going to be going out there, you know, every month for fourteen months, you can consider 
lowering this um, if you want, but at least having this number in front of you, you know that all of your expenses will be covered, and then you can even add things or subtract, you know, as you need to. So use this tool as a baseline. Um, this really is, you know, useful for just, you know, coming up with different scenarios and figuring out what you're actually going to charge the client. Most importantly, making sure you're not blind, right, in a situation. You're just not throwing some kind of number out there. So I'm going to leave a link to this spreadsheet in the description. Uh, feel free to use it. And if you have any questions, let us know. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video.